Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review for the Wild Road Cargo Carrier. This is basically something that utilizes your existing two inch trailer hitch. So what I thought I would do in this video is walk you through the installation, kind of show you um, everything there is to know about this and just give you some of my general thoughts. So in terms of um, general packaging and everything on this, it came very well shipped. It had cardboard basically surrounding a lot of the pieces. Um, all the bolts and accessories were all pretty much very um, straightforward, just um, put together in bags. And it does come with a manual that has very um, good like graphics and imagery of the actual unit, so it's easy to understand. But basically, you've got um, four shelving rack pieces here that go all the way around. These two actually fold in this way, and you can use these pins that are right here to secure it if you're storing it away. That way it doesn't have to stay open like it is now at all times. And um, you have a main beam that connects through the bottom. There's three bolts. There's basically um, two bars that then sit that go across both on the back and on the front. And then you have four additional bolts that go in one, two, three, four um, that connect those beams. So I'll show you a better image of that down here. Um, you can see this basically just goes across and the bolt goes right through um, to connect this all together. You're probably going to want to get a second person to tighten up all the bolts. I still need to do that. Um, I think because I haven't done that right now, this is actually still a little bit unstable uh, because of that. I just need to spend a little time tightening everything. Um, overall, once this is all folded up, you have an additional piece here that could be used to kind of tighten all of the gates down. You have some reflector guards here on the back that you put on, they're just stickers. So you have one, two, and three, so that'll kind of help. Um, in terms of like visibility here, you can see there's plenty of space. Um, this is a Subaru Forester, and there's plenty of space here where other people, other cars on the road are still gonna be able to see your brake lights and there's not gonna be anything in the way. I can also most likely open my trunk without any issues, this will completely come up um, without hitting the rail here. So that's kind of nice. Um, in terms of connecting the actual bolts here, you have a large bolt that goes across the center, a smaller M10 that goes there on the right, and then you have a removable um, piece that can actually be taken out if you want to fold this up once it's taken out. Um, this did not come with the main bolt that connects into your actual trailer hitch. So I was just able to use the one that came with our ball hitch. So I have another one of these pins this guy here that normally I would use with my ball hitch. So basically what I did is I just take this out, it's a universal fit, and I can simply just use um, one of the existing uh, bolts that's down there. There's actually three holes in the Wild Road unit, so you could actually have this come out a little bit if you wanted to, but this is probably about where I'd expect most people will have it. Um, other than that, I like that it has the Wild Road branding here in the back, looks pretty good. Obviously you get the high sides and you have plenty of room here on all the edges that if you want to tie down whatever you're going to be bringing with you, this is going to work perfectly. I know a great use case that I'm going to have for this is we're going to be going and picking up in the fall probably a ton of pellets for our pellet stove. So I could probably load this thing up with like bags of pellets load up the trunk and then just bring home like a ton of them all at once without needing to do multiple trips or worrying about the cost of like shipping a big bulk pallet, something like that. Um, this is also great for traveling. You have good options there if you're gonna be bringing some extra luggage or extra things that just wouldn't otherwise fit in the car. Um, in terms of the manual as well, it does go through in great detail and just show you nice picture diagrams of how everything goes together. So it's pretty simple. I didn't really have any issues following along and all of the pieces were here. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed my video review, found this helpful, and overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with this so far. Thanks for checking out my video review and I'll talk to you later.